and we're back yet again. See, the beauty of this is, so we're doing the, I don't know divisions all that well. <laughs> we're going to be doing the, does it not just tell you what it is? Or am I blind? This is the ALEs. Now get out of here. What is, what division is this one? Oh, it's the West. Okay, that's why. No, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> what a great way to start the video. But essentially, did I get new? Oh, because I clicked a different one. Ah, you silly goober, Brandon. That's a sick picture. So the nice thing about this is if these videos don't do well, I could very easily just say, you know, it's because I was using ChatGPT. Oh, of course we want Byron Buxton. No, why is this? This is what pisses me off. This guy, like, they'll give hitters that walk a lot, they, they strike out a lot because they try and walk a lot. But like to give him such bad CPU, Ooh, atrocious, but he got a good bunt, and you know me, I love to bunt. But yeah, like, I'm just gonna throw that online. Probably get three views, and have my head blow up thinking I'm gonna be the next big thing. But again, not what I'm going for. But if it doesn't, I can just be like, you know what? ChatGPT, you screwed me on that one. Oh no, the kids are back. Let's see, would they be able to hear them screaming? Yeah, you definitely can. So I'm going to have to talk louder. Okay, that's a short stop. Let's see, who should I get? Again, all you really need are players that are good hitters because you don't play defense. I don't mind that one. And he's a switch hitter. Beautiful. Bobby Witt. Ian Happ. Like, why would you, like, not to be rude, but why would you ever take this guy? I like him as an actual player, as a baseball player in MLB The Show. No, thank you. I don't need any defense. I think every inning is seventh inning or later. You know we're getting that bunt cheese, baby. We're gonna pop these perks in. And pop the molly because I'm sweating. Why is he on the team? You already know what I'm gonna say. X fucking Blue Jay there. Oh, these kids are gonna be screaming soon. I guarantee it. Just gonna have to beat this quickly. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Guy on third. How many else do we have? 12? I think I could do that. I really don't want to go back to work tomorrow. You know what this reminds me of? Or like, I'm looking at my screen, it doesn't seem to be fitting it completely. Like there's spacing at the beginning. When I ri first started playing on Twitch, my screen, oh, there's no good way of explaining this. Essentially, ooh, this is a good way. My screen, we're gonna pause this. No, what are you doing? I want you, yes. So right here. My screen was about this big. This is what I was playing on because I thought in my dumb, dumb brain that since my computer screen can go in, it's not 4K, but I think it's 1080. I was like, okay, so that means all my games can be played in 1080. So on stream, I went, had my resolution be 1080. So it made the screen black 
except for the specific Ooh, that's online too. Oh, never mind. We're goaded. Um, it made my screen horribly small. I didn't understand how audio worked. I still don't. That's why it's going to be so funny. When hopefully in a month or two, I'm a better content creator. And I have people telling me like, oh, no, you can do this. Oh, you can do that better. Smell you, buddy. <laughs> You son of a gun. Oh, I'm such a fool. Uh, and then I could look back on these videos and be like, wow, I was horrible. That one better be over his head. Oh, this is annoying. Yeah, that's not, that wasn't a good one. But, uh, because I'm not good at being consistent. It's amazing. After playing hockey for like 20 years and just being good at it, you, you would think you'd be good at being consistent at something. But I don't like not being good at something right away. And I'm not saying I'm going to be, I'm going to get millions of views on these. That'd be idiotic. I'd like to get like some comments, some views. And then go back and watch. Thank you. These are still, that's not going to leave the park. Wow. I'm just missing everything. Do I have to get on base with Bobby Witt? Ah, he's got bad bunt cheese too. Frick. I'm still going to go for it. That's foul. It's okay. It was a bad bunt anyways. Wow, this has not been a good showing. If I don't get out of the first level, I'm going to be a little grumpy. But yeah, like, so I'm not good at being consistent. I was, it was very nice when I first started streaming. I was able to get a, a follower on my first stream which is unheard of. Maybe it was just a little pity because he's just like, oh, this guy literally has nobody. But it still made me feel like I could be good at it. I still think I can be good because love me or hate me, you're still watching. You're, you're probably not. Get through. Okay. Get somebody on base. Do I have any speed demons? Let's see. No speed demon. Is, what, what he, he was a diamond in the last game I played. Did, does he just have hair and not his dr dreadlocks? At least he's not going to get doubled up. Oh. Byron, I'm gonna need you to step your game up. But yeah, so like my first month I had like five followers, which is not a lot. But then I joined, since I'm new to the city, my boss introduced me to somebody who runs a hockey camp. And I used to be a coach back in Toronto. So he was running like a eight week program twice a week. And that really took my time away. Fuck off. So I wasn't able to stream. So I really slowed my momentum down. But now I have like nine followers. None of them come to my streams though. Not cool, man. But I don't think that's gonna happen with YouTube right away, but it'd be really cool and fun. Christian Yelich, Mr. Broken Knees.
Did I go back too much? No. Yes, yes, resume. Let me get to the draft. Who do I want? Chris Bryan. That's not a bad one. Nothing like kid. Dude, what a sentence. I was about to say. Nothing like kids screaming. And I'm like, that's not a sentence you want to be saying out loud. Oh, Mr. Officer, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. But yeah, when I moved here, dude, the house that I'm living in right now, or I'm renting out of, is my boss's uh, wife's friend. And he's awesome. Like, my landlord's great, but he, he has kids. And kids can be loud, so it is what it is, though. It's probably gonna be annoying, but let's suck it up, Buttercup. How many outs do I have? Six outs, okay. Well, I'm probably bunting to start, so. Good news. You're going over the third, and then I can probably bunt again, or just slap something into the. F Sorry, got distracted. But yeah, my fucking... Everything I do is so makeshift. Fuck you. That was right down the middle, too. It's okay to swear. I'm, I'm more than a minute in. More than ten minutes in, actually. I thought I was gonna crank that. I was late. Fuck, now it's actually scary. Now it's spooky. Fastball slider splitter. Okay. Never mind. I'm not scared anymore. It's amazing how much a no doubter can can go right to the tip of your penis and you're like, oh yeah, that's it. I think a lightning bolt hit my penis. But I was really lucky with MLB The Show because I'm, I'm not going to my team right now. But I, the first, I guess you're the best hitter. No, you're definitely the best hitter. My One of my first diamonds I got was fucking um, Mike Trout out of nowhere. And he he's so good that he's still on my team even though I get a ton of diamonds from just doing the moments and stuff like this. Who am I? I guess Ian Happ's gone. Oh no, you know who's gone? You're gone. Thanks Ian, you're now my catcher. Oh, he's got great clutch. Okay, that's sick. No, actually, I'm gonna grab a water. And I can't remember if I was talking about being consistent in this video or the last one. But here's another thing. When I was, so right now, I'm definitely overweight. <sighs> My playing weight was like 180, 185. Now I'm like 214, which is far, far, far too much. Don't get me wrong. But one year, in hockey, like I was a little chubby for a hockey player, but I was still good enough to play. You might score. Yeah. 
Um, I was still good enough to play at a high level and be a little chubby, but one year the coach was like, yeah, you're, you, if you lose a little bit of weight, like I don't expect you to be shredded wheat. And I came back at 155 pounds because all I literally all I ate that summer was chicken, broccoli, asparagus, and salad. I got so dedicated that you might know the trick of like you dunk your fork into the dressing and then ah fuck and then you uh, bite the salad. I was doing that like pure dedication, and I lost. I right now I need to lose like 40 pounds, and I just haven't. Found the willpower. Ooh, sorry, I spit all over the camera there, I think. All right, well, this was fun. Quick and easy, baby. But so, my gym membership is up tomorrow. And I'm like, maybe I just, I have a kettlebell. I can do my own workouts from home. I'll I'll eat better. I'll make more YouTube videos probably. Ooh, Bobby Witt would be a good replacement for Bobby Witt. Essentially, who who's? I like this Bobby Witt though. So I'm thinking, eat better more YouTube videos. Oh, I can't have him in at all, that's why. Makes sense. I just gotta be dedicated. It's the first week that's hard. Once you're done and you're feeling good, like that's the shitty part about eating clean is you feel terrible. Like you're hungry all the time, especially when you're trying to lose weight. Like I was very strict. I was eating like half a chicken breast. Like it was stupid. Lost so much muscle mass. But um, you feel amazing besides being hungry. Like you're, you're, you're thinking so much clearer. You're just all around feeling better. It's just so hard to get into it again. There's a great saying, and I usually, when I say these things, I fuck up the saying right away, but it's something along the lines of bad habits are best at the beginning and they get worse over time. Good habits are the hardest at the beginning and they get better, like, they're the hardest at the beginning and they get easier and easier. Do I have enough? Do I have enough? Do I have enough? Thank you. So like, again, Anything you want in life is just on the other side of discipline. It's such a good saying, but it's so hard. Like, working out is easy. I find that shit so easy. You show up, you put in the littlest of effort. Littlest of effort. What a terrible thing. You put in, like, you bench, you see your progress. Eating clean is hard because it's not a one hour a day thing. It's a 24 seven kind of thing. You don't have to be perfect, but you have to be good enough, which is very hard to do. Yeah, that was brutal. And I need two runs actually, not just the one. So I need somebody on base. All right, I can figure this out. Disgusting cutter. It's so slow, but it started out here and I thought it was gonna be wide and then they broke. Thank you. He probably could have broke the third, but I'm, it's just not worth it. Oh, nine outs remaining? I don't know why I thought I saw six. I have three innings to get this guy in. I want to swing at that. I won't lie. You son of a gun. 
I should have fake breaking the third there. Because nobody was covering second. So I would have been able to get back. Fuck. I guess I got to shoot something up first so I can advance the runner. Which is easier said than done. What? Oh, baby. You got pulled off the base. Yeah, this first baseman. Vinny P. I don't know how to pronounce his name. But comments, let me know where you're from. And I think I said it last time, but what's your favorite uh, sports team, sports player? It's weird because I don't, hockey was my first sport. I was not wanting to advance. Oh, auto running, okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, was not my first sport, or hockey was my first sport, but like, I don't watch it that much because so many players that I grew up playing with or against are in the NHL now. Like here is an example. My elementary school, I was the only AAA player. Like being AAA in Toronto is a big thing. Yeah, definitely you. And I was like drafted into the OHL and all that kind of stuff. And the only the second best player on our team was a AA player. And it's weird how that AA player just signed for 4.5 million dollars for three years like per 4.5 per year for three years and he played for toronto and he was an asshole when he was my age he, if you know who i'm talking about you'd be like oh that makes sense i don't i don't have any problem ill will with him now like again i'm not going to judge somebody for being 12 and not the nicest person in the world you don't know what you're doing at that age and then the other person i played with was always supposed to be in the NHL. His dad was an NHLer. And he's playing for the Toronto Maple Leafs now. So the first one was Michael Bunting. The second one was is now Max Domi. I have a funny story about like, I, my whole life has been surrounded by hockey. I worked at the, Holly, the Hockey Hall of Fame. Again, played so much of it. But I'm also an idiot. So essentially, my one year I was playing junior A and my coach okay so you gotta bring it back a little bit I was supposed to be in university and then I kind of got screwed because of hockey like uh, grades and stuff like that when I went over to the USHL some of my grades didn't translate perfectly so when I went to university they're like oh actually you can't we don't accept religion you need to go back and get another course so i was in university sent back had to find a junior a team found got traded to a junior a team and um the first game i show up to haven't been on the ice in a while first game show up i get a goal to assist and the coach calls me into the office and he's like hi my name's bob this is paul this is you this is you i'm like yeah i don't give a shit paul get out of my face so I talk to the coach, whatever, and I go home. And my dad's a massive sports nerd. Sports, but mostly hockey nerd. He's just like, yeah, so like, did you see Paul Coffey there? And I'm like, Paul Coffey? Because I knew Paul Coffey's son was on the team, but I'm like, Paul Coffey, what are you talking? Oh my God. So the first day I just blew Paul Coffey off like he was nobody. He, he, Paul Coffey infuriates me so much because... I was a fast hockey player and we were doing like skating drills and he was just effortlessly keeping up with me. I'm like, man, you haven't played hockey in like 20 years. Fuck off. Stop being so good. Oh, disgusting. I knew it too. Oh, we only have five out of shit. Okay. But then I got invited to a Christmas skate with him and his son. And like the lead singer of Blue Rodeo. Fuck 99's hot. 
was there and other like famous people like hockey's introduced me to a lot of people and i don't i don't keep in touch with many of them i think the most famous hockey player that i who's the biggest one i guess Bo Horvat, maybe. What a pitch to seal on. He's being paid the most. I'm pretty sure because I think he's making eight right now. Um, maybe Ekblad actually he gets paid. Oh no, it's Darnell Nurse. So my draft year is the year with like, I think. Oh, disgusting. I'm trying to think of how many players on that team made the NHL. Max Domi, Darnell Nurse, Mark Freeman was in there. All right, perfect. Um, yeah, Darnell Nurse is probably making the most. Um, but yeah, it's so funny because you'll you'll look at how much they're making, you're like, oh, that's so much money. And then you go look at a bench player on the NBA and they're making literally three times as much money as them. I'm not saying anything rude against like basketball players. Like they are, there's only so many spots in the NBA. But they make so much fucking money. And then, yeah, I'll take the 97. Because nobody else is that good of a hitter. Miguel is pretty good, but you have just better. I'm not using bun cheese at all. else do I know in the NHL and I say I'll put air quotes around no like I'm not messaging any of them I'm not tight or close with any of them because I really don't like hockey players I find them too cocky which is weird to say because I started my first video with pit vipers on I like dressing the part I don't like their behavior you could spot you could pick them out of a crowd a mile away because they think they're king shit drives me nuts but again it's I don't know oh, I didn't even change my team it's the way that they are treated didn't I face this guy earlier already I was gonna say that better have gone deep because that was a square Perfect, perfect square. But growing up, who was your favorite, like, YouTuber? Put in the comments. I'll check them out. Mine, growing up, was Northern Lion. I still watch him to this day. Like, religiously. He's my go-to for entertainment. That, and then I discovered um, uh, Dimension 20. This is how you know I'm, I'm a full-blown dork. My favorite game growing up was Pokemon. Okay, let me see. Some... I don't, I've never had a kind of... Let's get real here. Uh, with Pokemon, I love... I, I really want to play D&D with somebody. My buddy, so before my bank job, I was working in uh, I was working in a boxing club. And it's really funny how boxers are the scariest people in the world. Like they're, you, you're like, oh geez, these guys could all beat the shit out of me. But it's funny because 
when I got there, coming from a hockey background, I'm like, I could beat the shit out of anybody here. I'm the toughest person here. And then this fucking five foot six, five foot seven, string bean. We did uh, sparring, just like he was an amateur boxer. And he was like, okay, you can try and punch me. I'm not gonna go hard on you. And I'm like, whatever. That wasn't actually, like I knew him for a while at that point. And I wouldn't have gone in the ring with him if he was like that. But um, it didn't last too long because one, I went for a hook and I connected with it. But then I like pinched something in my shoulder. So that's why I, like, I stopped. But we were going, we were going, I was like, jab, jab. I'm like, there's nothing, he's just in a shell. There's nothing to do here. And then I jabbed and he just went like this, I swear to God. Not even hard, he just went like boom and hit me in the nose with his palm, like boxing gloves on, but went like that. And then then I pinched my shoulder and I was done. And I was like, my arms just hang because it's a noodle at this point. And I look in the mirror, I'm like, why, why am I crying? I was so upset, he just, like he popped me in the nose, not even hard, and I, my nose, and I had a headache for like the next week and a half, and I'm like, I'm not cut out for this, never owned a hockey fight, why am I trying to start now? Like, it was not fun. But boxing is so hard. It's such a great cardio, and you melt calories. I even bought, uh, like, boxing pads so I could do pad work with people. I'm so bad at getting shit started. I know people want to do it with me. Weird phrasing, I know. But, like, they, cause one of the other guys at that club started his own business of it. I shouldn't have swung at that. And it's doing well. He probably invested too much money into his own stuff, which is, is a problem trying to blow up too quickly. But, like, he has... I think like 10,000 followers on Instagram. Like no joke stuff. And I want to do it because it's fun. I really like these uh, Minnesota hats. They're definitely just different enough to where I like them. Fudge. Get out of play, get out of play, get out of play, get out of play. Jimenez, I need you to, to figure it out for me. Thank you. As you do. As you do, buddy. That was a second deck. Come on, how is that a no, not a no-doubter? God, I love these jerseys so much. I, they, they grew on me. I think I liked my... 2022 one's the best. Thank you. <gasps> Get your boots moving. Oh, you son of a gun. I don't know if I... Have you seen the black ones yet? I think the black ones are even better. They have the owl logo. Get through. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hosmer. At least it's not gonna be a double play, I don't think. Okay. Advance the runners, that's fine. Mr. Witt. But yeah, it, it's, I had this conversation with my sister's fiance once when we were drinking. No, you're not gonna throw him out. I was gonna say 99 speed. And he was a, he played Canadian football, like university and he was just, I think he's 33 now. That's fine. You advance around us. He, he was telling me, this is at like 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning. He's just like, yeah, it's really impressive how you're actually willing to be in hockey still. It took me forever to want to do anything. Fuck, what are you swinging at? And I'm like, it's... Sometimes I do think... If, if I made better decisions, would I be in the NHL? 
And I'm like, uh, even if everything went perfectly, I'd be being I'd be being paid a lot more than I am right now. But I don't think I'd be an NHLer. I'm five foot six, five foot seven on a good day. I probably had the skill, but I wasn't always the smartest hockey player in the world. So again, it's hard to admit it to yourself, but that's the first step. You just gotta move past it, move on to the next chapter of your life. And the next chapter of your life is playing video games online with children screaming in the, in the front lawn because your landlord every other, every other weekend gets the kids. Is this really the best you can give me? I'll give I'll get I'll take Niggy. Right, I like all mine now. And then we got a man no. You gotta do it right. All oh, these kids are gonna drive me nuts. I'm definitely gonna close my window after. I didn't know uh, Tapia is on the Brewers. I thought he was on the Red Sox now. Unless they traded him recently. Ex Blue Jay. The first video was like an hour long. This one I've definitely just sped through. <laughs> and if you think that was a joke at the beginning about the chat GPT, it's not. I'm 100% gonna be using that. It's embarrassing because I've used it for Facebook. Bloop over his head, bloop over his head. Thank you, that's awesome. Um, I've used it for Facebook posts, and they get like, I don't know, a couple hundred views, which is awesome. I know you don't get any monetization off of it, but like, with a Facebook group of, but yeah, I feel very good, and I, I, I like that I played it off cool, but um, on a Facebook group with like six people who like it, like the group, not the actual posts, but you get in like, a couple hundred views. I'm like, that's awesome. If I get 20 views on a video like this, oh no, yeah, foul, okay, good. If I get 20 views on something like this, and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if people gave up after the first minute, I thought I crushed that. If it's anywhere on like literally the border of the strike zone, I can get to it. If it's in the strike zone, I have a hard time. Unless it's like this pitch up here. If it's anywhere in the little ones. See, like that's... See, your first reaction is drop it, get down. To be perfect and aim for it, it's hard. Come on, Captain Miggy. Oh, these, these kids are super sweet and they're super nice. But they can heck off right now. Again, sorry for the foul language. I don't usually have this big of a potty mouse. Mouse. Oh my god. Why is Mark Stroman the... the I guess he is having a really good year, but is this just regular Mark Strowman? No, this is, okay, this is, okay, that makes sense then. He was good with the Blue Jays, don't get me wrong. Ex-Blue Jay, didn't mention that earlier. Oh, disgusting. Fuck. 
I'm not doing well, and I'm just I'm doing it to myself. Shit. Nope. You point and you laugh at that. You go, ha ha, what a fool. You think I'm gonna swing at that? But then you get a pitch like that and you frick it up, Brandon. Nope. Ooh. That's a bloop. There we go. I was going to say, don't you auto base run. I might steal, though. Let's, what's his steal? Hmm. Oh, that Trey um, Mancini, something like that. I didn't know he was on the Cubs. Who would he go to? He was on Baltimore, and then he got traded. I don't think it was the, to the Dodgers. I need a bloop. I need another bloop, essentially. Thank you. I'm, I'm really, auto base running is really growing on me actually. Byron, Byron, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Buxton. Oh, I just missed that. I guess 56 is a good stack cause it's for stealing because Buxton has it and so does Baez and they both tried picking him off. Nope. Gross. Could have been real bad. That's a gross. The sinker is such a hard pitch. I hate throwing it. That's how they always use it is that cross body. Is that cross body just paint the, the corner? Oh, is that his first pitch? Okay, I need to start looking for it more. If I think it's, I can't give up on anything. Mr. Mr. Happeny. Thank you. <gasps> I don't think that's gonna, that's not going to be nearly enough. Yeah. I thought that was right in the middle. Fudge. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a Captain America's t-shirt that I got in university because I convinced it's, I don't want to say hazing, but it's friendly hazing, which it doesn't sound good, but it real that's genuinely what it was. Like we'd have to as a freshman, you have to they give you forty things to do. Twenty of them are with the upperclassmen. And then the other twenty fuck are things to do around the city so you get to know the area. And it'll be silly things like, okay, go shotgun a beer at the Rocket Center Museum or something like that. Like, it's drinking and you're supposed to do it. We were, we were tricked into doing it. Oh my god. This isn't good. Five outs, okay. Stop just trying to swing at everything. What did I literally just say, Brandon? You, you know, listen.
it all just drops out. It looks fine here, and then it drops out on you. I don't think that's enough. Two for two so far on this channel, baby. Two for heckin' two. Alright. Again, I said the first one was 45 minutes. This one was also 45 minutes. Cheers!